All right, I want to show you one of my favorite uh, recipes, especially wintertime recipes. I found it on food.com. It's called mahogany beef, and it's delicious. I want to show you how to make it. One of the things that you got to start off with, you need to start off with this chuck roast. You can normally find these things on sale at Co or Kroger, like uh, buy one, get one. It's like every month they run a sale like that. And uh, I don't know how many pounds this is. Let's say it's like three pounds or something like that. Um, you need to make sure that it's got fat on it. If it does not have fat on it, this will not taste good. You're also going to want one of these things. This is a cast iron stock pot or like a Dutch oven kind of thing. You're going to want one of these things in order to make this recipe. Let me show you what to do. Step one, you're going to want to cut this up into about two inch cubes. I've had this um, thawing uh, in my fridge overnight. Whenever I buy these sales, I buy them on Kroger. Usually buy one, get one, stick them in the freezer, and they're good for all sorts of good stuff. But uh, you're going to want to let this thaw for about 24 hours so you can cut through it. Cut it into about, actually I'm cutting it into about one inch chunks. About two tablespoons worth of olive oil. We're gonna wait till that gets hot, and then once it gets out, we're gonna go ahead and add our meat. cooking now it's a good time to cut up four cups of onions. I don't use four cups, I think that's a little overkill, but I'm going to use two large onions. Let's revisit our meat. It's not completely brown yet. Let's wait till it gets completely brown and then we'll add our onions. All right, you'll see at this point our meat is mostly brown and what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to move the meat to one side of the pot. One thing that you might notice is, yeah, there's some big chunks of fat in here. That's okay. Just leave those. Um, over time, this, those uh, pieces of fat will render, and they just turn into flavor. Um, yeah, you might have a little fat at the end product. That's okay. Um, at least, I think it's okay. At this point, you're supposed to add about two more tablespoons of oil, but we've got so much liquid in here, I don't see how it's going to matter a whole lot. So I'm pushing the meat to the side, and now it's time to add some of our onions. In fact, all of our onions. We'll let these onions soften for a while. It's going to take a few minutes. At this point, I'm going to mix the onions in with the meat. I'm going to start to add some of my other ingredients. I'm supposed to add one clove of garlic. I like to get mine already minced like this one clove. I don't know, I just guess. Let's say it's about that much. Add a can of diced tomatoes. It is coronavirus time and all I could get was stewed tomatoes. That's all they had left. They didn't have any other kind of tomatoes. So stewed tomatoes are gonna have to do. Probably could have cut those up a little bit. Let's do that now. Problem solved. It's also a quarter teaspoon of thyme. 
It doesn't say whether it's ground time or thyme leaves. I prefer thyme leaves in something like this. So a quarter teaspoon. I'll say it's about that. We need two bay leaves. Oh, gotta put bay leaves on our list. We need half a teaspoon of oregano. teaspoon of basil. I'm going to turn the heat down, let it simmer. Now we just need, it says about a cup of red wine. just need to stir this up a little bit, cover it up. Oh, I almost forgot the critical ingredient. This is hoisin sauce. It is the critical ingredient. There are zero substitutions. You must get hoisin sauce. You can typically find it in the, um, uh, let's see here, the Asian um, sauces aisle. So you can find it near the chow mein noodles at least where I go shopping. It's right around that area. You need a half a cup of this. I'm going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes. Time to cut up some carrots. Once you got a good boil going on, you're going to want to thicken the sauce a little bit. Take a tablespoon of cornstarch, a tablespoon of water. This will thicken this up into a nice gravy. You don't want to stir while you put it in. Now let that boil for about 10 or 15 minutes and that'll thicken up into a nice gravy. And then it'll be ready to serve. Got some mashed potatoes cooking up over here on the other side. I'm gonna add some salt, some cream cheese, some butter, some milk, some pepper, and we're gonna have some delicious mashed potatoes and some stew. Now we just wait about 10 or 15 minutes. We're good to go.